Hi, welcome to Children's Ark. I'm Auntie Annie. Are you ready to learn about Jesus? Today's Bible verses serve one another humbly in love. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. Jesus loves when we work together. So grab mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, sister, brother, um, cousins, friends, whoever's in your house to work with you to grab your supplies. So you're gonna have 15 seconds to grab all your supplies. And these are the supplies that you will need to get, which is the pencils, crayons, safety scissors, Bibles, and worksheets. So are you ready? Go! Wow, great job. Give me knuckles. You did a great job working together. So I'm going to ask you boys and girls if you can put your supplies on the side so that we can get ready for story time with Auntie Michelle. Welcome Children's Art families. My name is Auntie Michelle and today I'm with my daughter, Auntie Mary. Today's lesson is about working together. Mary and I are going to show you an activity you can play with your family at home by working together. The goal of this activity is to stack cups by working together. Slow, slow, slow. Oh! To play this activity, you just need a large rubber band, tie four string to the corners of the rubber band, and you can adjust the activity by using more cups or less cups, depending on um, if you want to make it harder or easier. Think about the times you work together with others. Why is it better to work together? When Mary and I worked together, we had more fun and we could do the job better and faster. In today's Bible story, Barnabas and Paul worked together. Let's learn what they could accomplish by working together. Today's story comes from the book of the Bible called Acts. People in a town called Antioch learned the good news about Jesus. They learned that Jesus was born, lived, and died, but he came back to life again. They learned how Jesus showed them God's love for them. People in Antioch believed in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Others noticed how these people followed Christ. People called these believers Christians. The word Christian was first used in Antioch to mean Christ followers. The Christians in Antioch wanted to know more about Jesus so they could follow him more closely, but they didn't have anyone to teach them. The Christians in Antioch needed a teacher. Far away in Jerusalem were many people who believed in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Some of the believers in Jerusalem learned about the Christians in Antioch who needed someone to teach them. People in Jerusalem wanted to help. The believers in Jerusalem sent a man named Barnabas to Antioch. Barnabas loved Jesus. He was one of Jesus' friends. He went to teach the people in Antioch about Jesus. When Barnabas arrived in Antioch, he could see that the people believed in Jesus. He knew why they were called Christians. They really did follow Jesus. The way they lived and acted showed they loved and believed in Jesus. Barnabas stayed at, to teach and encourage the people of Antioch. More and more people started coming to learn from Barnabas. Soon there were so many for Barnabas to teach alone. Barnabas needed someone to work with him to teach all of the people. Barnabas knew a man named Paul. Paul loves Jesus. He is one of Jesus' friends. Maybe Paul will work together with me, thought Barnabas. So Barnabas traveled to the town Tarsus, where Paul lived. When Barnabas got to Tarsus, he found Paul and said, Please come work together with me in Antioch. Paul was willing and able to go work with Barnabas, and together they went from Tarsus to Antioch 
to teach the Christians in Antioch about Jesus. Barnabas and Paul worked together, telling people the good news about Jesus for one whole year. By working together, they were able to teach a lot more people about Jesus than they could have alone. Paul and Barnabas were two of Jesus' friends who worked together. Jesus wants all of his friends to work together. Let's review today's Bible story. Where were the first people called Christians? These people were in Antioch. Where was the church that sent Barnabas to Antioch? The church was in Jerusalem. Where did Barnabas go to teach the people about Jesus? Barnabas went to Antioch. Where was Paul when Barnabas asked him to come work together? Paul was in Tarsus. Where did Barnabas and Paul work together? Barnabas and Paul taught the people in Antioch. Where can Jesus' friends work together? We can work together everywhere. Let's review today's Bible verse. Serve one another humbly in love. Galatians 5.13 What are some ways you can work together this week? Think of someone you can help. Now picture that person in your mind. What is one way you can help that person this week? Hmm, yes, you can help mom with the dishes. Yeah, you can help dad wash the car. Those are wonderful ideas. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for teaching us about Barnabas and Paul. Thank you for showing us how good friends work together. Help us to be good friends. Help us to find ways to work together. Help us to work together to spread your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining us this week. Bye. What is up, Children's Heart fam? It's Uncle Kainoa. And I have my special partner here, my helper. I have Auntie Anna here. And I have the youngest one here, Jephthah. We are going to be doing our praise and worship, our new VBS songs. But before we get started, let us pray. Ready? Here we go. Heavenly Father, just thank you for today. Thank you for our praise and worship. I pray that we enjoy our fellowship together, whoever we are or whoever we have in our household, Lord. And I pray for us to have VBS. It doesn't matter this year or next year, Lord, as long as we get to have it so we can know you more in depth, Lord. And I pray that we have an awesome summer this year and we give you all the praise and glory in your name amen all right here we go our first song is going to be your power will pull us through but again forgive us we're going to learn this with you all right here we go Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us okay, get ready to jump now, ready? Here we go. You make us yeah. and we stand together. This journey, there's no looking back. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, whoa. oh, whoa. wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, whoa. Yeah. And we stand together 
us to lead us where I'm Spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus You're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you We're trusting in you You give us ready to jump again we stand together Your power Pull us through We're trusting in you Trusting in you Your power Will pull us through We're trusting in you Trusting in you Trusting in you We're trusting in you Trusting in you Okay again as we're learning this. They probably might be better than me, but we got this. We got this. All right, our next song is going to be This Train is Bound for Glory. You guys ready? All right, here we go. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. in heaven yeah. for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. Awesome job, guys. You ready? Here we go. This train. Good job, guys. Isn't that cool? That was Fun? Awesome. Yeah. All right. Woo! Next one. We're going to take it down a little bit slower. I'm sure you guys might have not heard this song, but we're going to take it slow. It's going to be the old rugged cross. You guys ready? Here we go.
Boys and girls, I'm Auntie Sharon, and I'll be explaining to you today's activity for pre-K-4 through first grade. It says right here, I'm ready to work together. Begin by writing your name on the line. Color each picture on this page because each picture is going to help you to remember how you can work together with your family. Once you're done coloring each picture, um, ask an adult to assist you and cut out the square. You can also cut out the holes, but if you have a hole puncher, go ahead and punch out the holes. Once you're done, you're gonna um, string it with yarn, and then you're gonna put this on the wall. You can put it on the wall to remind you how you can work together with your family. If, if you wanna put it on the doorknob, you can also put it on the doorknob. For second and third grade, we're gonna be making this booklet. It's called Adventures of a Disciple. What's a disciple? You're right, a disciple is a person who follows Jesus, and that's you. Great. <laughs> and then you're gonna cut all the squares on pages 27 through 30, okay? Once you're done with that, it should, you should have four pages of this size and two of this size, okay? This is the cover of the book, the front of the book and the back of the book. You're going to notice that there's a rectangle right here and we need to cut that out. So you're going to fold the paper in half, cut along the lines, and it should look like this. So you'll, you'll have two rectangle spaces in the front. The other pages have a line on each page, if you can see it. You're going to have to cut on those lines. So you're going to fold your paper in half, cut right on the line. Once you do that, it should look like this, okay? Now we're gonna assemble this book. You're gonna grab the picture of Peter and it has the words tab A and tab B. So put your paper down, your booklet down, insert tab A and insert tab B. So be careful because you don't wanna rip the pages off. So it should look like this. Peter should be kind of like popping up, okay? Once you're done with that, you're gonna notice that in the back, there's tab A and tab B. You're gonna be getting a piece of scotch tape and you're gonna tape down the tabs to secure the picture that's in this booklet. So let's put the pages together. Start with page two because we're working on the inside of the book and then you're gonna grab page three. Now page three, you're gonna fold it in half and put it right next to page two. Turn the page, grab page four and five and place it right there. Now grab the picture of Peter that has tab A and tab B. Insert tab A and insert tab B. Once you're done with that, You'll notice in the back where the tape is. Make sure your tape is secure so Peter stays put, okay? Then we're gonna grab the, um, the two small pictures that we still had. The ones with the letter and Peter's picture goes right next to tab A. The other picture of Peter goes right next to tab B. Then you're gonna grab the cover of the book, put it on so it should look like this, and then you're gonna to have to staple the book together. So grab a stapler, staple your pages, put one on the top and one on the bottom. Now your book is complete. And this book is pretty cool. If you look at it, it Peter slides from page two and three to four and five and six and seven. Isn't that cool? So enjoy your time reading about Peter's adventures. Have a good week, bye-bye. 
Wasn't that a great lesson? I hope you had fun like I did. Have a great week serving one another humbly in love. See you next week.